got into geochemistry a because I come from a geology family dynasty, so both my parents are geoscientists. And I had the opportunity as a high schooler to go to Yellowstone, not to do geochemistry, but to do mapping, where I met a crazy man named Everett Schock, who is a geochemist of some renown and is here. And his fieldwork and his team and his sites were so inspirational that it set me on the path that I'm still on. Well, I started out as a, a pre-med student. I couldn't stand my classmates, and then, <laughs> and then I, and I went to uh, got, I got summer internships at uh, Woods Hole Oceanographic, and then I got to go out to sea, and then when I decided to go on to grad school, I was going to be a pure chemist, but then again, uh, the pure chemistry got too pure, <laughs> and I wanted to actually analyze things I could see. And so, you know, then I got involved with uh, doing stable isotopes on mid-ocean ridge rocks. Well, I got into geology as a junior in college. Um, basically, I was majoring in physics, and I was doing um, a statistical mechanics course on fermion and I, um, boson statistics. I thought this was pretty abstract and esoteric. I took a geology class. And in the first geology class, the professor held up a piece of mantle peridotite, uh, which is a beautiful gemstone rock. And I thought, this is really cool. And he talked about plate tectonics. And as a physics major, you're getting a history lesson as an undergraduate. You have to go to graduate school to even figure out what a real physicist does. And I saw with the plate tectonic revolution how you could make a contribution almost immediately. And so I planned my escape from physics and went to graduate school. And uh, geology.